Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not providing buy or sell recommendations. I'm just giving you my opinions. Please do your own research before investing. Hello, crypto cowboys. My name is Emeka, the crypto stud. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze and track your cryptocurrency trading portfolio using Microsoft Excel. Now, there's already a ton of applications out there that you can use. I have links to all of them in my step-by-step -step guide, which I put in the comments below. But I prefer to use Excel because it gives me more freedom to do analysis and determine whether I want to get into a trade or not. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel to track your cryptocurrency portfolio. Okay, so here is a spreadsheet that I use to track my cryptocurrency portfolio. And I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to use. Now there's only two tabs that I really focus on, and that's the Trade Sheet tab and the Summary tab. The Trade Sheet tab is where I input all the trade information, and the Summary tab summarizes my exposures in the exchanges and my exposures on different cryptocurrencies. So let me demonstrate with a quick example. Let me head over to CoinMarketCap.com, and let me, uh, let's say I want to enter a Litecoin trade. So Litecoin was around $4 in January of 2017, and let's say I bought it back then. Let me put this in my trade sheet so I can track it. So I come here, I put in my date, January 7, 2017. Let's say I had done it around 12.05 p.m. Uh, let's assume I bought it on Coinbase. Now, first of all, I should point out that the best way to use this Excel spreadsheet is to enter the information the moment you make the trade. That's how I actually do it. But just for the purposes of this video, I'm entering old information into the spreadsheet because you can do either. So the currency, let's say I want to enter Litecoin, buy. Let's say I made a $4,000 investment on January 1st, on January 7th. 2017 uh, let me just assume a 1% fee and the entry price as we saw on coinmarketcap.com in January of 2017 is right around four dollars so let's say I bought it at four dollars so everything else gets filled in for me if I bought four thousand dollars worth of Litecoin at the price of four dollars I would have around 990 Litecoins the current price is right now 240 This is pulled in from CoinMarketCap.com automatically. Therefore, the current value of my trade would be $238,000 and 124. A 5,853% increase since January 1st, 2017. Let me try another one. Let's say I bought Bitcoin at the same time. January 7th, 2017. But maybe this time I bought it on Bitfinex. And I bought the same amount. Let me just hop over to coinmarketcap.com to get the actual price in January 1st, 2017. So Bitcoin on January of 2017 was about $800. So let's say I bought $4,000 worth of Bitcoin just going to assume a 1% fee again. I, the price was $800 back then. So if I had bought $4,000 worth of Bitcoin in January of 2017, I would have gotten 4.95 Bitcoin. And at the current price of $14,000 for Bitcoin, the value of that trade would be $70,000 today. A growth of 1,667%. So you see, Litecoin actually grew more than Bitcoin in the same time period. So if you'd invested the same amount of money in Litecoin, then in Bitcoin, you would have made more money. So that's why I like to use an Excel spreadsheet because it gives me a better idea of how these investments go. The total growth of your portfolio was 3,759%. You have a profit of $300,000. So now if I just hop over to the summary tab, I should be able to get a summary of all the trades that I've done so far. I have some pivot tables set up. So if I right click on it and refresh, once I hit refresh, you can see that my Bitfinex exposure is about 22% of the portfolio. That's the $70,000 value Bitcoin I have in it. And my Coinbase exposure is 77% of my portfolio, which is the $238,000 Litecoin I have. And uh, you can also see the different exposures. You have Bitcoin, Litecoin. And this changes as you add more 
trades to the trade sheet. So let's say, let's say I buy $4,000 more Bitcoin on January 7th, 2017. at the same $800 price. Now if I hop over to summary and I hit refresh, you can see that the Bitcoin exposure has increased to 141 million. Litecoin has stayed the same. So Bitcoin is now 37% of my portfolio and the Coinbase percentage has increased to 81%. So it's a really good way to get an idea of your trades and you have control instead of using uh, some of the applications that are out there right now. So this is what I like to use. And that's why I'm sharing with you guys. Now my spreadsheet is still a work in progress. There are a few bugs that I'm improving on. One of them is you have to always make sure you add the new date that you add on the trade sheet. So, so far I've only been making trades on January 7th, but if I came in and I made a trade on let's say January 22nd then when I hop over to summary and hit refresh it won't necessarily show up because you have to also come up to the filter and make sure that that one is also selected so January 22nd is selected as well and you have to do the same for the cryptocurrency exposure I set it up like this so you don't see the blank spaces so when you're looking at this trade sheet you just have to remember to every time you enter a new date, come up to the filter and make sure that the dates are also checked up here as well. And that's it. If you want to download this Excel spreadsheet, I have a link to it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Happy investing.